important. So are you. That didn't work out well. Well, it would have worked out if you'd be satisfied with just being editor and reporter. But not you. You had to marry me, spoil everything. I wasn't satisfied. I suppose I proposed to you. Well, you thought you did, making good lies of me for two years until I broke down. Oh, Walter. And I still claim I was tough the night I proposed to you. If you'd have been a gentleman, you'd forgotten all about it. But you used to get a bit better than that. Hello? Yeah. What? Sweeney? Well, what can I do for you? Bellum is wrong, wasn't he? About what? He said you can shut out excitement by just closing a door. You can't, can you? I don't know what you're talking about. I was just mentioning how was in the house. There isn't anybody here but us, you know. Everybody's celebrating carnival. What about it? I was just mentioning it. Good night, Johnny. me about Taylor? So you know about that? Poor Owen. Yeah, the DA's man took me down to Lido last night. Turned out he knew more about him than I did. 
For instance, he knew that Owen Taylor wanted to marry your sister once. Perhaps it wouldn't have been such a bad idea. You see, he was in love with her. But I didn't come here about Owen, I... Do you still feel you can't tell me what my father wants you to do? Well, without his permission. You can't even tell me if it was about Carmen? Nope. Well, you better look at this. Messenger brought it this morning. 835. That's right. Which takes a nice picture. They want 5,000 for the negative and the rest of the prints. The demand came how? A woman telephoned me shortly after this thing was delivered. What else was there? Does there have to be something else? Well, this thing isn't worth $5,000 to anybody. Well, they think it is. Why? The woman said if they didn't get the money today, I'd be talking to my sister through a wire screen. She said there was a police jam connected with it. What kind of a jam? I don't know. You know where this picture was taken? I haven't the slightest idea. Or when? No. You talked to Carmen about it? She was asleep when I left. Figure out a story? Norris fixed that. How? She was in all evening. Police already checked that when they called about Owen. Go ahead and scratch. What was Owen doing with your car last night? Nobody knows. He took it without permission. Why do you think that... That he knew about this picture? I don't rule him out. And outside of what the woman said, you don't know any reason why they want $5,000 for it. That's why I came to you. There's usually five fingers on any glove. Why didn't you go to the police? Because I thought that you were... Because you were afraid they might turn up something that I couldn't sit on. Then where would the stern would be? Isn't that right? May I use your phone, Mr. Marlowe? Governor, I had to come once more. My dear Mrs. Morella, I can't say anything that I didn't tell you yesterday, or the day before, or the day before that. This is the last day. There are certain regulations concerning visits to condemned prisoners. I didn't make them. Don't you understand anything but regulations and laws and rules? No, madam. I understand nothing but my duties. That's my job. Yes? Please, sir. Perhaps you can help me. You believe in kindness and mercy. Won't you help me to see Mr. Andrews? My child, don't you think you'd make it more difficult for him? Oh, I won't. I promise I won't. Oh, the law can't be so cruel to let him die without knowing... Knowing what, my child? That I love him. But surely, Mrs. Moretti... Oh, I know what you think, but you're wrong. There's never been anything between us. Of course we love each other, but I've never told him, never. Don't you understand that if he doesn't see me, he'll think that I've deserted him too. Do you mind if I take Mrs. Monrell out by the back way? Past the cells? Well, uh, as long as she's on her way out, I don't think there's any rule against that. Thank you, sir. You want to browse among my books. The pawn shop's just around the corner. Ah, that's too bad. Oh, I rather like it this way. It gives me a lot more room. You like to sit down? Here, I'll take your things. Our motto is the guest is always right. I want you to feel perfectly at home. A little fire. Nothing like a nice open fire, I always say. Do you? Yeah, I always. Uh, pine logs and curling flames, faithful dog, nice white bearskin rug, and a little woman to fetch your slippers. Uh, nothing like it. I'm sure there isn't. You like to have something to drink? Some. Uh, Nice warm beer. Uh, no, thank you. Oh. Cigarette? Yes, sir. Oh. Ah, sorry. Oh, thank you. If I could have some music, I could open the window and get the radio from across the street. No, thank you. Excuse us, lady. We're just looking for a way out. I recommend 
the door. Oh, oh. oh Lily Bell, we can't get out this way. Oh, you're not going to get away from me this time. Oh, I find this brawling very distasteful. You'll pardon the intrusion, miss. We have... Oh, no, you don't. This time I'm calling the shore patrol, and I'm going to have you two nautical nitwits thrown right into the break for the rest of your lives. Maybe I'd better go out in the hall and finish dressing. Oh, I'm sorry, Marge. This is the husband I'm going to tell you about, and this is the crumb that got him to join the Navy on the day we were married. I'm the original kissless bride. I'm very happy to meet you two pirates. I've heard so little about you. Well, listen, honey, we had a chance to make a pile of dough, legitimately. What does that mean? You're not going to swindle anybody under the age of 12? No, look, little bell, this is on the level, right on the line. Now, wait a minute. Is she reliable? I haven't had any complaints yet. Of course she's reliable. Where's your judgment of human nature? We'll let you in on this too, miss. Oh, okay, kid. Now look, the greatest gunpoint in the Navy has just been transferred to our ship. And we're the only ones who know about it except you two. So what? So what? With him pointing the number one turret for our ship, we can outshoot the whole Navy. And the betting odds against our ship are 15 to 1. That's now. Tomorrow when the news gets out, those odds are going to drop right through the floor. And we got our bets all made, see? 15 to 1. Can you imagine those suckers when they find out the news they want to pay off at five to one? Isn't that a little underhanded? No. For them it's high class. Why, you never want to bet in your life. No. What are you talking about? I'm so lucky the horses put my shoes up over this thing. Got in here as well as I do. Did you find anything in my room? I certainly did. Nothing of your mother's. No, you gave those to your accomplice. But I did find that the clothes of Mr. Burns the American all had French labels in them. And I found this. A list of everyone on the Riviera with jewelry worth stealing. Listen to what it says about us. What good is that going to do you? You're already caught. I called the police from your room and told them who you are and what you did tonight. Everything? Oh, the boys must have enjoyed that down at headquarters. Mother, his name isn't Burns. He's a notorious jewel thief called the Cat. And what's he doing here now, Lamb? If he already's got the junk. Returning to the scene of this crime. Since when is love a crime? His name is Roby, and for my money, he's a real man. Not one of those milk sops you generally take up with. Mother, after all. After all, my foot. Why do you think we move so many times? Hmm? Your father was a swindler, dear, but a lovable one. You ask me, this one's a bigger operator on every level. Thank you, madame. Mother, this is why I've had to spend half my life traveling around the world after you. Keep men like this away from you. Well, after this, let me run my own interference. Looks like the blockers are having all the fun. Well, if she doesn't have any common sense, I do. Oh, shut up. They were my bubbles that were stolen. If I don't care, why should you? They're insured. Now, the big question is, where do we go from here? To jail.